Hey Photoshop fans, I'm Justin Z, and here's another important video about the tools and techniques of masking. So in the last video I showed you the basics of setting up a layer-based mask. In this video, I will show you the abilities and uses of vector-based masks. Make sure your path is selected in the Paths tab. Go to Layer at the top of Photoshop and highlight Vector Mask, then select Current Path. Your layer will now have a vector mask and the outside of the image will be removed. The beauty of this mask is that it can be changed in conjunction with your image should it be need to be resized or changed. Pixel-based masks, once created, can't be enhanced. They can be manipulated with a brush or shape tool, but otherwise they can't be changed. With this, you can still use the pen tool, change the mask, and the changes will apply to the image. This comes in handy for motion graphics or for high-resolution photos that need changing. The other benefit this has is perfecting the mask's shape, which as you can see, needs a little work. Check the pen tutorial video, as well as pen tool masking two videos back to go over how to make perfections with your image. A couple of things to note is that your vector mask is independent of your original pen points or anchor points. This is useful because you can hold on to the original path you created in case you need it, but when you make changes to your mask, you don't change the path. In the next video, I'll talk about masking with shapes and how they can be, in some situations, more useful than masking with a pen tool. Thank you for watching. You can send any requests or questions about Photoshop to requests at mahalo.com, and please be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe below.